Hey guys, welcome back to Mechanical PE Exam Prep. If you'd like to be notified when I post new videos, go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you want to get the basics down before solving lots of problems, take my Udemy course, HVAC and Refrigeration Fundamentals. In less than five hours, you'll review all the major topics you need for the PE exam. By the end, you'll actually be excited to start studying. Then for the last question, they ask, what is the area of the evaporative cooler supply duct? Well, we know the velocity of the supply air coming through that opening to enter the cage room, and we know the total volume of supply air is 23,240 CFM, so we should be able to figure out the required area. That's just based on the relationship between the volume flow rate, so that's big V dot, which is equal to the velocity times the area, so this is big V as well. It's a little confusing with the units with all these Vs, right? There's a difference between big V dot, which I use for volume flow rate, big V without the dot, which I use for velocity, and then little v, which I use for a specific volume. And it's hard to tell a difference between a little v and a big V when there's no lines. So I'll just try to be clear. I mean, you also have the units. Another very common convention is that instead of big V dot, they'll use Q a lot of times for volume flow rate. And that's totally fine, but I like to reserve big Q dot for energy transfer per unit time. So you know, earlier in the same problem, we wrote Q dot L for latent load, that's BTUs per hour. So I try to stay away from using Q for volume, at least when dealing with air, and then sometimes with uh, water systems, I might use it in those cases. But as long as you look at the units, you won't get tricked up. So if we rearrange this to solve for the area, area equals volume flow rate divided by velocity. The volume flow rate is 23,240 CFM which I'll write as cubic feet per minute divided by the velocity, which is 140 feet per minute. The minutes cancel, and this feet cancels with one of these feet, so you just end up with feet squared, and the answer is 166 feet squared, and that's answer C. And that's a pretty big opening. 13 times 13 is 169, so that's nearly a 13 by 13 foot opening, which is pretty enormous. But also think about the fact that we have 3,000 pigs, so what kind of space would be required to house that many animals? It's obviously pretty big, so if there's only one big supply duct, could it be 13 by 13? Yeah, that's not crazy.